Well, that comes as the president of Slovakia says she will give a mandate to former hardline prime minister Robert Fico to form a government. The pro-Kremlin candidate won Sunday's vote with a campaign on ending Slovakia's military aid to Ukraine. It's an unlikely comeback for the former leader who fell from power after the murder of an investigative journalist. He will now have to find much-needed allies to build a coalition. Well, to talk a bit more about all of this with me now, I'm joined at the set by our Europe editor, Armin Georgian. Now, Armin, here we have the man who won the election in Slovakia campaigning on taking his country's aid out of Ukraine. How big a blow is this to European solidarity? Uh, just a nuance. I mean, he's not talking about ending humanitarian aid or various forms of political support. It's the military aid that he doesn't like. I think it's too early to say, Jeannie, whether this means a fracture in the European political front or not, because as you just said, uh, Robert Fico needs allies. Slovakia is a proportional system which tends to help the smaller parties, and it um, it makes it difficult for the big parties to implement their entire agenda when they're actually in government. So you've got a difference between campaign slogans like Fico's not another round of ammunition for Ukraine and then the react the realities of coalition governments. Uh, so the, what the expectation is at the moment is that Fico uh, is perhaps going to do uh, a deal with the party that came in third in this election result, not the party that came in second, but the party that came in third, which is called Hlas, which itself has signaled that it although it doesn't have the same position on Ukraine as Robert Fidso, nonetheless it has signaled that there could be room for some sort of compromise on this question of Ukraine uh, with uh, Robert Fidso. Uh, where it gets complex is that there could be uh, a third party in the coalition mix as well. This is what analysts are saying at the moment, and that is uh, the Slovak National Party, or SNP, so SNS, sorry, it's called. Uh, so that could again change the whole conversation on Ukraine. So I think we'll just have to wait and see. It's going to be, as we understand it, a good two weeks of coalition talks, and we'll see what shakes out then. Right. And as all of that wheeling and dealing is getting underway, there's one country, at least uh, outside Slovakia, that's been very welcoming of the election result, and that's Hungary. Yes. And uh, the prime minister of Hungary has uh, tweeted, not not uh, uh, hiding his delight, shall we say, uh, Viktor Orban with that a picture of him shaking hands with Robert Fizzo saying, guess who's back? Congratulations to Robert Fizzo on an, his undisputable victory at the Slovak elections. Always good to work together with a patriot. Looking forward to it. I think the word patriot there is really the key to understanding this whole relationship. They both have this kind of idea of, you know, putting Hungary first or um, putting Slovakia first. Uh, and uh, th th that very much ties up with Slo uh, with Fico's campaign of, you know, we have bigger problems than Ukraine at home. We've got energy costs. We've got inflation. We've got people in the provinces hurting. Poverty and so forth. Uh, and uh, wh where they could come together is, well, on a number of issues. Firstly, they would both likely push much stronger on the idea of starting peace talks to end the Ukraine war rather than emphasizing more sanctions and more ammunition for Ukraine. That's obviously one thing. The other thing is this whole, you know, on the whole cultural divide, if you will, between liberal Brussels, the, the, the Europe of institutions and some of the Western European powers and the Europe of nations as uh, Orban and Fidso would see it. So not more European integration, not deeper European integration, but rather having European nation states in the driving seat. They will definitely work together on that issue. And one concrete example of this is clearly going to be the whole migration issue. Robert Fidso has already said one of the first decisions of his government, and again, it hasn't been formed yet, but it would be uh, renewing border controls with Hungary. So essentially both Slovakia and Hungary would work together to stem uh, illegal migration along the so-called Balkans route. So a lot of areas where they could uh, potentially work together. Armin, thank you for that. That's our Europe editor, Armin Georgian.